All right, guys, today is day two of Reptilian Nation, the spring of 2019 in Denver, and I am going to sell some more snakes. And if you watched my last video, you know I sold about 30 snakes. It was crazy. There was tons of people. I'm running low, so I decided to actually pull some of my holdbacks and bring them to the show and check out what I have. I have a whole bunch of really cool new stuff. I'm going to bring this up. So if you missed all my snakes at the show yesterday, here's some really cool stuff. This is a pastel scaleless head. Here is a lemon blast scaleless head. I have um, another just a regular scaleless head. I have actually a couple of them. A male and a female. I have another <laughs> lesser bamboo blue-eyed leucistic. Beautiful. That one's really big. Here's another one. This is my pastel calico uh, bamboo. <laughs> I don't really want to sell this one, but if the price is right, I'll take it. Here's another. Uh, this is actually my het pied, my dinker project. This is my albino pied. Here is a pinstripe bamboo. Here's a really reduced bamboo female. It's really big. Here's another. Uh, this is a pastel pinstripe bamboo, basically a lemon blast bamboo. And here is my Arizona mountain king snake. I'm going to bring all those to the show, and I would say probably the range, the price range of my snakes is probably it probably maxes out at about eighteen hundred dollars, which isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things. I actually walked. <laughs> I had a guy walk up to me in the show, and he says, "I have ten thousand dollars in my pocket." And I'm looking for a $10,000 snake, and I'm like, I don't think anyone at this show has anywhere close to a $10,000 snake. And really what you need to do is you need to go to the NARBC in Tinley Park or something like that. One of the big shows where the big breeders are selling some really high-end stuff. As a matter of fact, if I started over, I'd probably gear towards more of, of fewer snakes and more high-end. I think it would be a lot less work, and you could make a lot more money. But <laughs> there's different ways to approach breeding ball pythons in the grand scheme of things. So I'm going to pack these up, head to the show, and figure out what kind of prices I'm going to put on these snakes, and, and we'll see what sells. It'll actually free up some of my rack space to where I can actually hold some more stuff back this year. I'm kind of in a bind where I don't really want to expand my operation, but I want to hold back some really cool stuff from this year that has the stuff that, <laughs> the, the, you know, I don't have the eggs yet and hasn't hatched, but I know I'm going to probably have some really cool stuff that I want to hold back from this year. And this will clean up at least a couple tubs, I'm thinking, some of these holdbacks. So I'm going to hit the road. Let's go to Reptilian Nation, day number two. Touch that thing. <laughs> They're all sweethearts. Oh, it's so many legs. <laughs> I remember they with no leg. Wow. I can't wait till she's 20 plus inches. Wow, 20 inches? From basically here to here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I did. So this is the line for the elevator. <laughs> All right guys, so I am back home, back here in my reptile room. And there's a couple things I want to show you before I wrap up this video. And that is, there's a guy there with venomous snakes. And I thought for sure venomous snakes were banned in shows. And apparently you can get a permit. And this time, it's the first time I've ever seen venomous in a regular reptile show here in Colorado. As a matter of fact, anywhere nationwide, I've never seen venomous snakes. They're typically banned. And this time, apparently they pulled a permit and they brought a guy in and had multiple venomous snakes. And they kept having these displays uh, all through the show. They, they'd announce that the venomous snake is, is going to be at such and such time, like at noon or two. And I kept missing it because I was pinned behind my table with all the people. And, uh, and I, at the very end, I actually was <laughs> had all my stuff and I was ready to push it out the door on a little cart. And I started thinking, hmm, I wonder if this guy would actually share with me some of his venomous snakes. Sure enough, I went up to him and started talking to him. And he actually pulled out his venomous snakes and did kind of a, a private show one-on-one -on -one with just me and my camera and I got some really good footage of that and I want to share that with you and I actually got his name and all of his info I'm gonna put it down underneath this video in the comment in the in the video description right under this video so if you want to find out who this guy is and his website and the company name you can go there and look it up and then also I actually had a tripod and I took a picture with a still camera every seven minutes 
during the show. And I want to play that at the very end on a, a pr pretty much like a slideshow of the whole show. It's, it's, I'll put each picture up for about five seconds and it goes through pretty fast. And you can actually see if you can see yourself or if you can see some of your friends coming up to my table and checking out the snakes. And I did really well this time, this weekend. I'd say it was the best weekend that I've ever had out of oh, selling snakes ever. It was really incredible. I sold I probably sold 40 ball pythons and the most expensive one I think I sold was about a thousand dollars so I did really well I'm gonna take a lot of that money and I'm gonna reinvest it back into the reptile hobby here with some new equipment I think I'm gonna upgrade my camera <laughs> maybe upgrade my display cases at the shows and I got some other ideas <laughs> that I can use to upgrade uh, in different areas so that's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to show you the little clip from the Venomous. I'm going to throw the slideshow at the end. And I will see you in the next okay, video. Okay, guys, the show is over. And I actually missed the Venomous Reptiles. And these guys are actually going to show me the Venomous Reptiles. Check these out. I didn't even know you could have Venomous here. <laughs> so this is a Florida cottonmouth. Wow. That's pretty wild. That's awesome. He doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Have you ever been bit? Years ago when I was younger. Really? Huh. Huh. That's pretty wild. <laughs> Wow, young to boom viper. That is awesome. That is really cool. Do they have names? No, <laughs> snake. We have too many snakes for names. Yeah, <laughs> that is really cool. Uh, yeah, it just makes me want to pet him, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> See, so have five of them then, huh? Rupert, the friendly cobra. Oh, that's a cobra? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> That is pretty wild. I'm on the wrong end of the cobra. Wow. What kind of cobra is it? Black Pakistan. Ooh. That's awesome. He's like, yeah, you want to kick me? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Let's see if I saw it to grow a snake bite. <laughs> yeah. That's one venomous I'd consider having if I ever had a venomous. That's awesome. This is a inland taipan. Oh. Aren't they the most poisonous snake in the world? Yes, they are. That's crazy. That's awesome.